for I'm Claire from Creative The Otterway, an independent demonstrator for stamping up here in the UK. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today's make is a lovely little fun fold. Um, I've seen quite a few of these around and this is my take on it. It's an angled fun fold. Angled because it's cut out at some angles looks far more complicated than it actually is in the making this one i've made with the blackberry bliss paper really beautiful colors some picking up some gold there and some cinnamon cider as well um i don't know about you wasn't really a fan of the cinnamon cider but i think with the blackberry beauty paper it just is the perfect combination trust stamping up to do that to us again what are they like um today's make is going to be um a christmas one so the same card just a little bit christmassy so what paper have i used today just whiz that through that for you so that in case you want to do the same peaceful place is the paper that i've got um if you bear with me i'll just flick through super 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 quick so you can see all the different beautiful colors um, and the one that i picked out particularly to use is a snowflake on one side and a large gingham on the other so that's what i'll be using today and some coordinating basic gray card so I'll just leave that there so you can um, sort out what you need just an a4 sheet of card is all that you need for this and some smaller pieces of dsp um, on my original one i didn't put anything to keep it closed and i sort of feel like it needs something so i'm going to put a belly band on the one that i'm just going to make with you and i am going to use this uh, stitch so sweetly dies these two to add a front to the belly band and i will be decorating it with let's see if i've got them the christmas trimmings dies just a few of the stars out of that as well so let's get making so basic gray very um underrated color but perfect perfect for christmas so how do we make it we get our a4 sheet and turn it onto the short side and we are just going to cut it straight across at five and seven eighths of an inch so really simple super super simple that will make our base card and i'll go through that in the middle this bit that's left over, we're going to make the belly band out. I think the belly band, isn't that lovely name, belly band? I feel like I need a belly band. Um, an inch wide. So I think we could probably get two out of this, but we just do one because we only need one. So keep that bit spare. We're not going to need that for anything else today. So your belly band bit to put to one side and bring your piece of card back in so this now is the whole width of an a4 but cut on the short side at five and seven eighths so two score lines we need to do really simple three and three quarters so remember not cut score three and three quarters on one end and the simplest thing to do is spin your card round and do three and three quarters on the other side so like i said really simple card so this is the sort of card when you're having a bit of a, a down moment and you've lost your crafting mojo this is the card you want to go and make because it will make you feel so much better um triple uh, panel card really this is so from this you can make lots of different variations of fun folds and if you have watched any of my videos before i've made quite a few with it um, if you like the videos subscribe and you'll always be told of new ones 
So what do we do to this? So if I bring, I feel like I'm saying so a lot, sorry. If I bring this one back, what we're going to do now is do this two angles on the front that make it look that little bit extra wow. How do we do that? So there's quite a few ways of doing that. The way that I use, oh, sorry, I've just knocked the camera, is I turn my card this way, so long ways, and I'm going to leave a little mark or a little score line at one and a half inches from this edge, and I'm going to do that both ends of the card. Now, some people like to use a little pencil just to make a mark. Some people like to use... Um, the scorer on your trimmer, you could quite happily use that. That will do it as well. Some people like to just go for it. One and a half inches, okay? I'm just gonna put a little pencil mark, I think, just there. So I don't know if you can see that, because it's quite a gray day here. Okay, so that's on one end. I'm going to turn it over and do it on the other end to make sure that it's at the top of the card as well. So there's the other end there. Now, where that little mark is, I'm going to put that on my... Oh, this sank in my cutting blade. Hang on, let's get that out. There's a little bit of paper in there. Did you see that? Oh, look at that, a little bit of pretty gold. Okay, so where that mark is, I'm just going to put that on the cutting line, just there, and I'm going to angle my card around so the top of it is there. The cat's on the table, sorry. Okay, so then I'm going to cut that off. So I've marked at one and a half and I'm cutting across and that should leave a nice triangle that's come off, okay? Now I'm doing the same on the other end. So there's my score, my little pencil mark and I'm bringing the score line there so that it's in line and then again I cut off the triangle. So now I've got a card that has got two corners taken off. And the next thing I want to do is do the angle here. So turn the card so you're playing with the bottom and I'm going to mark that at one inch. So one inch from the bottom. Where's my pencil? A little pencil mark there. I'm going to turn it over and again do it one inch along the bottom. Okay, so now what I need to do is put this point here on the cutting line, move my card around until it's lined up there. So I've got a little mark there and I'm going to the point. Put my blade on the flatter bit because it's better to cut up from a flat piece than cutting into a point. And that just gets cut off. And there's your second triangle piece. So I'm just going to do the other side. Sorry, the table is wobbling because my big ginger Tom has decided that this is the day that he wants to join in with crafting. Usually it's the kit kittens, but not today, it's him. Okay, so I can't even show you because it will mean moving the camera. So let me bring that back in for a moment. Okay, so what you're left with is this sort of shape. So the middle bit is just a normal... Um, rectangle and then the sides are both angled and when you bring them round you can see it's almost a bit like a, a wraparound dress or something so if I just put those back 
just so you can get the idea of the bits you're cutting off. So you cut off the bit there, you've cut off a bit there, oh, turn that over, and that's how you've got your shape. Okay, so that's your base card done. At this stage, what I tend to do is put the inside piece on. So this is actually, let me just double check, three and seven eighths. Yeah, three and seven eighths by five and a half. So three and seven eighths by five and a half, and I'm just going to glue that in place. What I do like to do is make the out inside of my card look as nice as the outside. So I've added a bit of DSP across the bottom and that's actually what I'm going to do with this bit as well. And that will just go in there like that. So let's just add that in. And then that makes for a nice inside view of the card. Oh, that was lucky. I really thought this glue had run out because it feels like it's very empty. But the craft fairy was with me and provided the glue. There you go. So that's the inside of my card. Um, I'm not going to stamp a sentiment because I'm going to write a nice little note on the inside. So back to the front. How do we do these angled pieces for the front? So let's put that over there. Rose, you're going to have to get down because there's not room for your hand off on the table. So I've got this piece and the sizing that we need is three and a half inches. So I'm going to cut that straight down at three and a half. Okay. And it's three and a half by five and five eighths. So five and five eighths. So there's one. Oh, that wasn't enough. I'll have to cut that again. Let's do it that way to make sure I've got enough. Five and five eighths. By three and a half. There. Okay, so I've got two pieces now. The same. Now, depending on whether you want two patterns the same or if you want them contrasting, is how you cut. So you're going to do the same, you're going to cut at one and a half here and one inch here. But if you want them the same, so they both look the same on the outside, you need to turn one so it's got the, so you've got your patterns together. If you want them different, have them both the same way. So it will become, it will explain itself when I show you. So we need to cut off one and a half inches so we're going to mark it so you've turned it around to the long side i've got two pieces together here i'm not sure if that's wise what do you reckon should we give it a go I'm trying to save a bit of time for you watching so there's my little pencil mark there oh that's quite hard to see on a piece of sparkly paper so that is definitely there and I'm lining that up. I'm going from the flat to the corner. So that's that bit. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it around that way and the bottom mark is an inch. So that is there. And turn it around again and I'm going to join my inch to my point there. So that's where the inch is. And that's where the point is and keep everything crossed okay it looks okay there let's see if it looks okay when I put it on so I bring my card back in fold it over so I've got one piece that's going to go on there Ta -da! and then this piece needs to turn over and go on there. Ta -da! Now with some of the DSP it's got like a white um, middle if that makes sense. 
So, I don't like the white edge on my card, so what I'm going to do is get a stamping blend or a stamping white marker. Um, have I got a basic grey? Yeah. So what happens is, particularly this one because it's a dark paper, when I put it down, sometimes you can see the white core of the paper going round. So before I stick it, I'm going to use my stamping white marker and I'm just going to use the fat end to go along the edge and just colour that white core with the basic grey. Now this is not necessary. It's just something I like to do. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So literally just not colouring, just rubbing the felt end along the card. Just so I'm not left with a white line. Okay. Done. So I bring this back in now and let's see if I can get some glue on and stick it all together. So have you been making your Christmas makes yet? I have started thinking about it. I saw that there was 15 weeks till Christmas. How is that even possible? Where has this year gone, honestly? So that's one side. Now this side, you need to remember to put glue on the right side. So I need to put it on the shiny, sparkly side, which seems an absolute silly thing to do. Cover up such beautiful paper. But that's what you need to do. And that goes on there, like that. Sorry about the wobbly camera. Garth, can you stop licking? Okay, that goes on there, like that. Oh, I like it already. Okay, belly band. So the belly band, you can do all sorts. You can measure, and but I like to just do this. I'm just going to put it that way around. So I put it to the edge there. Then I fold it round, just fold it, fold it round there and then I'll stick it in place. So I'll put some glue on this end, put some glue on this end and I just match it up. I really like the Stitch So Sweetly dies, they're one of my favourites. That will just go on there, like that. You could put it on with dimensionals if you want to, just to make it raise out a bit. I know I'm going to be posting this card, so I want it fairly flat. Okay. Right, just stop the table wobbling a minute. Go off, sit still. Okay, that's going to go on there. So I know it's a Christmas one, so I'm going to get my Christmas sentiment out and I'm using the Inspired Thoughts and I've got my stamping marker here, so I'm going to use that just to colour in. What should we have? Wishing you all a beautiful Christmas. Let's do that. So I'll put that on there and using the fat end, I'm just going to colour over here. probably all feeling seasick now with this video. I, I haven't been doing YouTube videos very long and I'm still learning. So note to self, don't let the kitty cats sit on the table when you're doing a video. Okay, now oh, can I get this on here straight? Nice. Okay, 
so that's going to go on there I am going to put that on with some dimensionals just to raise that up a little bit it's not going to have a, a lot of weight on it so I'm not going to put too many just three I think okay bring that back over now I mentioned that I was going to use another set as well um, which I will just show you so it's the dies for the Christmas trimmings set. Um, what I've used in it is this star here and that teeny tiny star there. And I've used some of the adhesive sheets that Stampin' Up! do. Um, because what that allows me to do is when you die cut, it turns your die into a sticker. So very simply, or very easily, you can stick the shape on and you don't have to worry about the glue. Okay, I think that one will go there. Although I have got a vellum one as well. I'm not sure whether I want that. And I've got some teeny tiny stars as well. Um, I was going to do snowflakes, but I really like these little diddy stars. So that's one, and I did the same with the stars. I put them on the, I put some card on the adhesive sheets, and then run them through the die cut. So they also are quite sticky. So I also think they need a little bit of um, sparkle on them, and I might. Might add some um, glitter on the top as well. Like this one, it's got no adhesive sheet on, so I'm just going to put a little blob of glue on it. That will go there. Not sure about that vellum one. And this one, I think, should go here. So I'm going to put one dimensional on. To help it stay raised and a little bit of glue and that is a very pretty but really lovely and easy to make angled card Ta -da! so if I bring the other one back in I actually think I prefer it with the belly band on but I do love this Blackberry Beauty paper so I hope you've enjoyed that today. Thank you for joining me. And if you liked my videos, and you don't mind the cats wobbling the table, of course, subscribe and you will find more lovely videos for you to watch. Thanks for watching. Bye.